Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I did some research on the Cyber Psychos and I can't find a conclusive answer um, about whether or not we just have to keep attacking them until they die or if we actually try to neutralize them with like a non-lethal weapon. So my plan is gonna be, I've got a baton um, in our third slot. Oh. And if we can get a Cyber Psycho down low enough, then I'll try to beat it with a non-lethal option and uh, go from there. Because we, she did say when we got this, these missions a long time ago that she wanted to keep them alive. I remember that, but you can't just like walk up on a Cyber Psycho, I don't think, and put them to sleep. This will have to do. Find the Cyber Psycho. Oh, okay. It's not super clear. Quantity of... <laughs> cause of death. Quantity of blood indicates deep wounds. Traces of alcohol present. What happened to you? Trauma team policies expired. Please remember to activate your card immediately so we may continue to keep you healthy and safe in life's most dangerous moments. You can't afford to hesitate when your livelihood's at stake. Very convenient. He's a very quiet cyber psycho. Whatever it is. Look at them all. We'll take all of it. Here's another one. Cause of death, body sustained. Grievous wounds. It's another policy thing. No, it's an archive conversation. Okay. So today's your day to clean up after Brick's bitch or else the boss man finds out we made a rabid dog out of the corpse we wanted. Brick actually is the guy who was overthrown by Royce and we ended up saving him in that big battle that happened. He was like trapped in a room or something. Um, so interesting to see that we see his name again. I swear to fucking God, he makes more messes than he cleans up. It's kind of like having our own trained cougar or some shit. For real, even howls and growls and shit so much I can't sleep. What the fuck you do that he screams so much? Just showed him and what happens, or just showed him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Dor's idea to strip out his old chrome, plus we beat his face like it was a fucking ski-filled pinata. Can't really talk no more, just howls like the traitor bitch he is. But that means you gotta grab the mop and clean up all them fleshy bits and blood he lives leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. Gonna stink it up in here soon and scare off all the eddies. Get him inside and away from the fucking trash cans already. Shit ain't complicated. Yikes. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Found him. Oh, we do not need... We do not need this sniper rifle right now. Give me something else. Crusher shotgun? Yes. It also has attachments and mods on it. Increased chance to apply damage-related status effect by 5%. Hitting a target reduces damage received from them by 20% for 10 seconds. It's physical damage. And bleed chance. Whoa. Oh, it's got a huge clip size, too. Can I hack this guy? Oh, uh, I can ping. I can breach protocol. Reduce resistances. Might as well go for that. 5-5, five, five, BD-1C. Got them both. Cool. Whoa! Yeah, well played. Oh, didn't I? I wanted to equip this. I thought about it. Nice. Oh yeah, I see he's resistant to hacking. Uh, our weapon glitch is eight. Yeah, sick. Yeah. 
So he's getting some damage over time from this. So I guess that's the bleeding. So we got to be careful when he gets low. Jeez. Over here. Oh, damn. Wait, do I have uh do I have any EMPs? EMP non-lethal. Looks, uh, and he should be alive, right? That should have been non lethal. He's kind of moving. Progression shard, gain XP for the breach protocol skill. Uh, pistol, machete. Look at that blade. Hello. Ram jolt increases max ram by two units. And an archive conversation between Brick and Ellis. Ellis, what the fuck are we gonna... Oh, he said Ellis is saying, what the fuck are we gonna do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce wants to fuck you in the ass and he's got the people to back him. We gotta do something. Oh. So he's trying to warn him that Royce was doing this uh, takeover. Brick says, where the fuck have you been? I'm a hundred fucking percent sure he's gunning for my reins. I've been a walking corpse since yesterday. My advice is to get the fuck out while you can. Ellis says, you're rolling over. We have people too. Jesus, Brick, I'm not going to work for that rusty cum stain and that fucking psycho douche smirk of his. Don't write that kind of shit, L. You believe in me so much. Uh, believe me when I say you got to get the fuck out. Oh, fuck you. Shit your pants. Sit your shorts all you want. I won't let Royce get away with this. Now, I don't know if we... if we. There might have been an Ellis when we went to that area before too. I mean, he's moving. So I presume this is all we need to do. Oh, another body. Whoa, way more bodies. Drug use. Rare components. Yo, what was he doing back here? Send the information to Regina. Okay, where are you? Regina, messages. Where the bodies hit the floor. Look. Uh, it was a gang dispute. The guy was one of Brick's people, tried to take revenge on Royce. You can guess how his solo attempt at a vendetta panned out. Got pumped full of drugs, tortured, and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer. As requested, I didn't flatline him, but honestly, I doubt there's much left to collect in the mental sense. Cool. Okay. So, we did do it correctly. And this mower... Turns out she was in the corpse special unit. Clearly, she felt something was seriously wrong, but instead of help, Militech sent in a hit squad. Sending you a ride and managed to extract more information about her, but not much. Um, I don't know if it says anything here about not keeping her alive or not, but either way. So I scrounge up some more info. It looks like the guy was Brick's only devotee left. All his other followers turned coat in half a millisec. Not sure if he can be saved, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the onset of cyberpsychosis. Nice work. Okay, that is confirmation that we do need to just keep them alive. And uh, with that, I think we have enough for our legs if we sell some stuff. Let's uh, let's call the bike. <laughs> See, that's so cool. It drove right through the opening. That's amazing. All right. So this is how we this is how we currently look. I mean, it it could be uh, it could be better. Lizzie pistol. This shotgun is super cool. Uh, can these be removed? It doesn't look like it. Hey. Um, these can be unequipped, but mods cannot be for whatever reason. Huh. 
That's really cool, though. Especially this one where you hit them and you take 20% less damage. I like. Okay, instead of this pistol, then, let's switch over to our sniper rifle for now. And let's make a plan. So, what do we want to do here? There's Dirty Fred's stash. Now, this is the... We found, like, this homeless group, and we just investigated, and there's this random stash. So, I know this is probably far away. It's north. Oh, we're actually up here. No, this is perfect. Okay. So, let's do that. And then things will be clean. And we can start taking, uh... Taking new jobs. Hold on. I got to investigate this. At easy beef. Freedom of the press. The guy named Max Jones needs help. He might disagree, but if you don't get to this stubborn gonk first, he's as good as dead. Max is a media and a good friend of mine. Need you to bring him to me. If he puts up a oh, fight, cool. you're cleared to use force. Like I said, he's stubborn. Deets attached. Okay, I can't resist. I can't resist. Merc needed. Uh, rescue Max and bring him to me. Night City doesn't like people that like to kick the hornet's nest. And Max Jones, well, he kicked a bunch of them in the same time. Kicked them so hard. In fact, that somebody put a hit out on him. Thing is, personally, I'd rather he stayed alive. Max Jones, an old friend from my muckraking days. So we co-wrote a podcast about independent farmers who were put out of the biz by Biotechnica drones. Those were the days. Nowadays, Max doesn't even take my calls. He's as stubborn as they come. But now I'm worried he's really lost touch with reality. He probably thinks he can manage perfectly fine on his own. But that's what all young gonk men think. And they're invincible. Or that they're invincible. Bring him to reason, will ya? Send you the cords of his hideout if I manage to track him down. It's only a matter of time until the others do too. So his hideout is inside the, the TV building. WNS News. Okay, let's do it. God, that, that feels good to just be able to walk in and open whatever we want. Do we have any cameras detected? No, but we got turrets. Uh, can I link all of these? If I go... 5-5, five, 5-5. Five, five, five. I can't get a BD from there. That's fine. Seems like there's a little battle happening across the street here. And you got a couple files. Credits outro. Any names on here ring a bell? This is just something they would roll at the end of the broadcast. 7 p.m. on the 6th of June, 2017. I'm Nellie Bly coming to you live from the World News Services. Today's biggest stories include further casualties from the war as Sacramento was carpet bombed last night. USSR has also sent humanitarian aid to Night City. Independent observers claim that it's, quote, not humanitarian aid, only trucks full of weapons. The free state of Texas has officially closed its borders to refugees from Night City. 7 p.m. on the night of uh, 24th of October, 2074, and I'm Nelly Bly, coming to you live from the World News Service. Major stories today include a cyber psycho attack in Kabuki, which three people have died. An earthquake in Italy has killed an estimated 98 people. President Myers has offered to protect night citizens with Militech forces, though her words were sharply criticized by the Night City Police Commissioner, who seems like a real dick. From the... From all things we've heard. Whoa, is that a laser? Shrapnel from a grenade door straight through my thigh. What the? I mean, I got up. We haven't seen this oh, before. Just a usual IED. Improvising. Wow. Uh, yeah. Disarm. Whoa! Hold on a second here. Security turret. 
didn't we don't we shut that down i guess maybe this one's not connected to that front network or something Notice how I can't ping anything? Oh, right! I'm... Oh, God. Uh, let's go back here. Cyber deck. And, uh... No, I have ping on. Okay. I thought maybe I took this off or something. Weird. Okay, we can do 1C55555, but I can't. So, 5555 it is. This show in blood we serve. That's right. They gave us the no false rumors that. circling Busan. Conspiracy theorists have recently been roused by news of alleged human activity in the ghost city of Busan. Our younger readers may not recall that the Korean city, formerly 4 million strong, was wiped off the faces of the earth during the fourth corporate war, which you've heard a lot about. Unofficial sources out there point the finger at Militech, whose tendencies of tyranny led to the creation and uh, spread of lab-grown deadly virus. Uh, accident, experiment, whatever the truth, the virus proves so, ahem, virulent, that the Korean, uh, United Korean government still won't lift the strict quarantine on Busan all these decades later. So why did all these tabloid junkies and sensation seekers all of a sudden become so interested in the dead city again 50 years later? A Seoul-based detective unearthed satellite image showing signs of life. Well, technical life, that is, in the form of active machinery. But no real surprise there. After all, Busan was one of the world's most heavily automated... Oh, that's little Walty making some noise. Sorry about that. It was a human virus, not the computer variety. Most of the robots uh, go out their work what does that say many of the robots go out their work their repairs their trash scooping and sorting huh these mystery satellite images just some computers that never got turned off that's it people of united korea can sleep easy tonight knowing busan is a ghost town in the metaphorical sense only cool. oh hi yeah please can we climb this? How come I can't climb this? There we go. Weird. Okay, what do we... All these, all these mannequins, like, what the frick? What did we stumble into here? Pathfinder, half a century of silence. A lot of info in the news place, makes sense. When in the summer of 2020, NASA's Pathfinder mission set off of Jupiter, or for Jupiter, it was the buzz of every radio station, TV, media outlet, and scream sheet. Stills of the crew were plastered on every type of commemorative merchandise imaginable. Mugs, shirts, plates, bobbleheads, bumper stickers, the list goes on. Just a week later, the steady stream of information dried to a trickle. A month later, the world had all but forgotten about them. Three years later, and two years before their planned entry into Jupiter's orbit, a conflict now known as the Fourth Corporate War broke out. Cape Canaveral was one of the first strategic sites raised to the ground. NASA's Mission Control Center along with it. No way. Pathfinder and the vast reaches of space have been cut off. When the opposing sides finally signed a truce three years later, Militech set its sights on re-establishing contact with the Pathfinder crew, but to no avail. Pathfinder's signal, it seemed, had been swallowed by the void of the Big Black. To this day, it remains unknown whether the Pathfinder mission was a success. If the crew ever did reach Jupiter and its moons, we have received no word, no data, not a single lead to follow. Maybe they never stood a chance. Maybe after half a century of silence, they simply have nothing to say to us. Wow. Oh! Okay, that, that perk is a much. huge saver. Yeah. Give him back. 
replaced them with these first gen pieces. Garbage. Turn that off, please. Like he's got this place booby trapped to the nines. talking to there the struggle of O'Neill station the European Space Agency ESA started out with seemingly noble intentions will open the door to the universe the solar system a home to it all and so on and so forth it sh didn't take long for these catchphrases to reveal themselves for what they truly were, colonial ambitions wrapped up in lofty ideals. We, the builders and first inhabitants of O'Neill 1, have witnessed this firsthand. The ESA sent us into space and promises us a new life and a better tomorrow. Instead, what lay in wait for us was a complete lack of freedom and backbreaking work in extremely dangerous conditions. We would have pulled through, we would have toughed it out for the greater good, if only they treated us as human beings, informed of us of their decisions. Instead, uh, sorry, listen to our concerns and requests, but the ESA ignored us. Consequences were inevitable. In 2022, after completing construction of the station, our situation was critical. Station management demanded 18 hours of work every day, seven days a week from everyone, regardless of age or health condition. Our peaceful protest was met with a disproportionate use of force, surprise, surprise, which included stun guns. They thought it was to break us, just like the countless protests they broke back on Earth. They thought it would break us. Thing is, out here, it's not so easy to call for reinforcements. Workers outnumber guards 40 to 1, and one stun gun charge held only 15 rounds. The ESA's management had effectively shot themselves in the foot. It was over before they could realize. Only seven hours passed before O'Neill 1 and O'Neill 2 declared independence and became the first nations established outside of Earth? Oh, cool. That is awesome. Corporal. Whoa. Tell me. No. I shoot. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Not a fucking suit. Name's V. Regina sent me. Regina. <laughs> Tell her she can get fucked. Oh. Are we cool? Heard your interview. Heard your interview on the way up. Started broadcasting the moment you showed up on the feed. Oh. It wasn't finished, not like I wanted it, but at least people got the truth. Why'd you threaten to kill yourself? Why the suicide threats, huh? Thought you were a corpo. What the? Set the silence. So you would have died anyway. But on my own terms. Bastards control everything. But me, I get to decide when I go. I do. Tell Regina that too. Not gonna break, not like her. So, if I was a corpo here for real, he probably just would have killed himself. I don't, there maybe were other ways around it, but. That loaded. <laughs> okay. Just wants There's help. A death warrant out for you. Well, you probably already knew that. Uh huh. Yeah, I could give a shit too. But Regina wants to help you out. Help me out? She's the one who needs help. Why do you say that? She was the best media I knew. Shit, she was my mentor. And now, <laughs> sold right out. But I won't be bought. Not me. So... Oh, cool. She was your mentor? Regina was your mentor? Not just mine. She was the best war reporter in Night City. But then she turned fixer. Yeah, like I said, sold out. So to him, fixers are all sellouts. Things used to be different. The 
media's word fucking meant something. We tracked those sons of bitches every dirty move. And now, you can prove Halt's in Arasaka's pocket. And nobody gives a flying turd fuck. <laughs> so why are you still reporting? So why do that veteran piece? If we're all so fresh out of fucks to give. So that people start asking questions? Start wondering. Just like you, now. Maybe that little grain of discomfort will grow into dissent. Who knows? I figure it's worth a try. You ever think about laying low with the nomads? Put you in touch with some nomads. Join them. Ride with them. Let this blow over. Give yourself a break. A break from what? From responsibility? Sorry, but that's not my style. Come on, let's go. You go the way of the gonk here. Won't change a thing. Running won't change anything either. I'll manage without your help. This all out of spite for Regina? You got something to prove to her? <laughs> you don't know Jack. <laughs> I think she deserves a chance. Why don't you just talk to her? You got a niche for the truth, don't you? If you want to know who Regina is now, what she really fights for, just go and see her. That's got to be intriguing <sighs> enough very least it'd mean a lot to her max come on bro i'll talk to her that's boom it's all i wanted that's all i, all I wanted okay just gotta download a few things do what you gotta do that seems sketch inside metacorp God, there's so much cool info in here. We associate nomads with chaos, societal collapse, technological backwardness, and for good reason. Uh, but there are always exceptions to the rule. And for the nomads, that exception are the meta, more specifically meta corp. Unlike uh, other nomad groups that deal in smuggling and raiding, the meta are strictly law-abiding meta corp. The meta are strictly law-abiding. Metacorp, formerly registered in the Western corporate states, is a majority stakeholder in numerous shipping companies, including the rapidly growing DTR, Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers, which handles 53% of all America's transport last year. The story of Metacorp is the story of American entrepreneurial spirit and confidence in the future, two things that not even a nuclear war could destroy. Indeed, Metacorp only proves that a new order can rise out of entropy, and the rustle of euro dollars is capable of civilizing even the most savage barbarians. Last month, I had an opportunity to visit the company's headquarters in Medici, the mobile island currently anchored in the Gulf of Mexico. There, I met Victoria Meta. It's so, okay, so these are last names. The corporation's nomad CEO and granddaughter of Metacorp's founder, Jonathan Meta. Victoria had clearly inherited his steely gaze and enterprising mind. That's a cool little insight into the nomads. You got a lot of good stuff in here we can use, buddy. Car's waiting for you. Yeah, I'm um, working on it. Unification war for gonks. Oh, here, break it down. Like Eli 5, you know? Or, you know, for idiots. Uh, the Unification War is the most recent armed conflict to take place in North America since the collapse, lasting from January 2069 to June 2070, so only ending seven years ago. Although the Unification War is formally recognized as a war between the United, new United States of America, NUSA, and the governments of the free states, most scholars also classify the conflict as a corporate war. It's well known that the NUSA was backed by Militech Hardware, personnel and other resources, whereas the free states received the significant yet tacit support of the Arasaka Corporation, once again pitting these two companies against each other. Unification War is also sometimes referred to as the Metal War or Metal Wars in reference to the wide use of armored cavalry units, so-called Panzers. Bloodiest battle in Unification War was the Battle of Ridgecrest. In just one day, at least 3,078 people were reported killed. North California, South California are on opposite sides. Oh, you know what? I think we might have read this. We may have read this one, actually. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a second to get into it before we realize. Uh, one thing we could start doing... Lat Am Wars, we've definitely read. But we could pick it up and then go into our journal uh, shards and just see if it's marked as new. 
And uh, unless we're like 100% sure, but that way we don't have to reread half of them. Hey. It's a smart weapon too. Okay, let's go. Follow me. I'll get you by all of your traps. Never mind, I guess this is a pretty solid way out of here. You telling me, is it possible I could have come in this way? I wonder if we could have come in this way. <laughs> that would have been so cool. Just waltz in, no big deal. But I bet you this probably was locked. Chauffeur, but... what's next? Champagne, black market, synth cigars. No time to waste. Let's go. Take care, Max. Yeah, you too. That was so cool. Get in there, pal. You need me to open the door for you? Jeez. you got through to that stubborn mule looks like i'm up to bat with him now gig closed nice guys you know what that means that's gonna put us over our cash for sure for sure thanks again for handling the issue in good faith i'm tossing in a little extra you can collect it at the drop point look at that i absolutely will is this a yeah see we got problems here, man. Like, people just can't keep it together. Oh, Target's unarmed. Oh, so that's why I can't use weapon glitch. He's armed now. his weapon kill someone else oh sick anybody else apparently they threw something at me more Yep I'll deal with this fuck stick Sometimes I get a little overconfident. We'll get out of here alive. 
you kidding? There's way more of them than I expected. And clean. I'm just trying to pick up everything that I can. Guys, we're going to be able to get uh, jump legs now. Hold on. How insane is that? That's all I've wanted forever. Double jump. And watch, we'll never be able to use it. <laughs> I just think it's... There were a lot of circumstances where I was like, man, we could have double jump. But I might have just locked onto it in my head and been like, it's going to be essential. Oh. Target analysis cyberware mod. All your weapons are non-lethal. Headshots do not deal additional damage. Smart weapons primarily target limbs. All your weapons are non-lethal. Yeah, cool. Uh, that's super cool. I think we might have that already, but... Oh, I'm carrying too much. If you can actually... Can you believe that? I can believe it. Can we just sort this by weight? I like that one. Uh, we'll disassemble this. And then when we go to our drop point here, we can sell a bunch of stuff. Alright. Gave us a new gun. Okay, so our current sniper rifle is probably the best. Uh, let's sort this by type. Let's just look at our sniper rifle. Where are you? Oh, I guess it's just, okay. We don't have, we don't even have an extra one. Um, the shotgun crusher is kind of cool. We can keep using that, I think. And then instead of the club... Let's go to one of our pistols. Lizzie. It's a tech pistol. I like that. And then in terms of our gear, let's just make sure we have the best here. This one's coming next level, but it's not that important. Mm, increased crit chance. It's pretty solid. I think everything else we just sell. This is a minor improvement. This one's coming up soon. And then these two level 12 as well. We're seeing a lot of level 12 gear right now. Lower body. And eh, we'll keep the other benefits. Bunch of shoes, finally. Let's go here. I'm not going to say we look badass. We definitely... We definitely look something. <laughs> definitely look, uh... Definitely look something. Okay, so... This can go. We have 49... Oh, actually, we have 49,000 now. So this is... Pretty... Pretty good. Let's, uh... Let's dismantle the rest of this. This is coming at level 12. It's a smart assault rifle. Maybe we should save that one. Because we are getting close. Everything else. See you later. I know this this part is probably very tedious to watch. I try to limit this to, to be like near the end of an episode. If possible. 151 damage, 92, but you get more attacks per second. Physical damage, bleeding chance. This has a, a high crit chance. Not that we're really using these, but this one looks cool, but this one has more mod slots. <laughs> so it's like, 
there's a pretty good argument to be made for, for either of these, but let's dismantle and get some better components. And then if we look into our crafting here, uh, Dying Knight, eh, epic stuff, and then Legendary, I would ultimately like to get there. The Nekomata, which we have. Now, it looks like, okay, so our current Nekomata rifle doesn't do 127 uh, DPS. If we look at this, we're at 89.5. Now, if we go into crafting to make a new one, this is likely because we have a higher level, a higher crafting level, whatever the case. We could make this new one for 29 common and 24 uncommon. If we upgrade it though, I wonder how that works. 20 and 15, and then it's, it's not even getting us to that point. So what I could do is let's craft a new one, 127 DPS. Take a look here. Now, significantly improved. And we can, I guess, just disassemble this other one. Like so. And it looks like it removes the scope, which is cool. In down sights and extra range. Let's go. So yeah, I guess from time to time, we will have to like recraft certain things, but that's a pretty significant jump. Um, versus upgrading it, it seems like Maybe just recrafting is the best, but I still want to experiment with that tree a lot. Anyways, anyways, where are we here? Do we have a do we have a ripper dock anywhere nearby or along the way? We kind of do down here. This is um This is Victor's place. Uh here's Dirty Fred's uh stash, the thing that we found earlier. So okay, tell you what, let's take a break for now when we come back we're going to work towards uh mega building hq and along the way we're just going to take like whatever kind of things come up um besides you know any of these crazy things that we can't do there's uh only this thing outstanding and then some some rides so i think we're pretty clean now and we can get back to tackling things in a way that sort of makes sense so anyways hope you guys are enjoying thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one Bye for now.